Hey yo, today's the year that Jay becomes a man. I do this shit myself, only mine can touch my hand. And when I say mine, I mean Janice. Frauds all vanish. Reject to the city committee, see me as banished. Always choose last, who picking the preacher boy? Fitting in was a job, I'm trying to be employed. Bullied my whole life, too scared to fucking fight. Blows like a mic, hell no, nah, it ain't Christ like yo. Sonny Corleone, my flesh is like Mike. I'm known in every home, Jim Stone with no mic. Hustle like every peasant. <laughs> Pleasant ain't in the peasants. Second to having heaven, eventually shit a lesson. Jerry Michael in the studio with us right now. What is up, dude? What's up, man? How's it going? Pretty good. Okay, so congratulations on the album. Appreciate it, appreciate it. So how was that? Like, tell us about like the making of it. What's it called? Um, the album is called What A Year. Uh, okay. I've been working on that. I've been started working on that in December. Okay. Um, I finally got everything written and recorded probably in uh, February. And uh, had a mix and master, and then just waiting for time to come out. And today was the day. So, so what was so good about last year that you had to make like name the album? Oh man. Uh, <laughs> well, I had a lot of things going on in my life uh, to make it be titled "What a Year." Uh, most of the album started in November of 2016, and then it goes all the way to pretty much right now. Of things I went through in my life as a relationship. Uh, fake people, right? Uh, you know, you can't, you can't live life without fake people. It doesn't make you strong. Uh, uh, other than that, you know, just life experiences. Um, my grandmother, I talk about my grandmother on the album as well. I lost my grandmother last year. Okay, so that's she like a big part of my life. And so yeah, that's how all the album is on the So if I'm correct, right before the album, you signed with Rad Summer. Yes, sir. So how'd that come down? Um, I've known Lemmy, Vice, and Action Jackson for about, I'd say about four or five. Uh, okay. Can I mess uh, up? Can I fall to, short? Can uh, I face black? Can I fight more when they say I can't? Can, can I pray to God when they and, uh, say fake? Can, can I love you know, life? Can I love the world? Really fall in love with my damn girl? Can I feel love and never feel shake? Can I be real and still keep it? Can I be me and not just black? Work hard and still fucking rap? Can I smile hard when I want to cry? Nice. So you mentioned Kokomo is actually where you live. Like, what's the music scene like up there? Because I know we focus more on Indianapolis, but we don't really see what's going on there. So from your point of view, like, what's it like? Well, the, the thing about Kokomo is, like, there's a lot of talented hip-hop artists in town. You know, it's like, the thing is, most of the music that's there is more rock, acoustic, you know, up-tempo type music. So if you don't hear the hip-hop music, nobody's promoting it, and nobody like, out there with a the face to get the music out there, you won't hear about it. Fortunately, mm -hmm. You know, like I said, I'm a manager at a club, I work at a club, and so I know a lot of people, you know, push my music out there, and then a lot of the guys that come to the club and rap, you know, sing, rap, whatever, you know what I mean, they push their music out as well, so. Wow, so do you have any visuals coming out, like music videos, um, like follow up with the new album you just dropped? Oh yeah, um, Friday. Babe, can I be me and not just black? Work hard and still fucking rap, can I smile hard when I wanna cry? Pray for me when I wanna die, could you show me love and not point the finger? Think about it, make me a believer. Nice. Okay, so I was scrolling through your Twitter, I believe is what it was. Um, got a couple things I want to go over. So, as of <laughs> August 2016, uh -huh. I'm just now looking at this, so I didn't really go over it beforehand. Yeah. But it says, Guess I'll join the fun. And it says, A rapper I don't like is Future. Okay. <laughs> a rapper I think is overrated is Drake. 80s baby, so I grew up on like real hip hop with a message and stuff. I can't get down to the stuff that they just say stuff and don't have no message in. That's not me at all. Leads us to the next one. Favorite rapper is B.I.G. That's right. Is this still true? Yeah. Is all this still true? Uh, <laughs> uh, it's kind of changing right now. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'd probably say, I wouldn't say Future is terrible. <laughs> I wouldn't say that he's terrible. I mean, he has his own lane, so whatever his lane is, it makes him happy. But I'd change Future and Drake and put Drake is terrible now, so a lot of people don't like that. But, <laughs> It is what it is. The truth will set you free, I guess. Okay, so rap. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, best produced album is the Black Album. Absolutely. Okay. That might um, change. That might change. That now. might change. That really might change now. Oof. There's a lot of a lot of albums that have come out since then, but that uh, Watch the Throne is probably one of my favorites. Um, you can find all my music, all my stuff on uh, Radsummer.com. Uh, Follow me on Instagram, underscore Jared Michael. Okay, Please so one more thing I want to ask you about the Rad Summer deal is um, what makes that collaboration so lucrative? Um, well, 
everybody in Rat Summer that I've come encounter with and known, you know, everybody has a really hard work ethic. You know, everybody okay. wants to work together as a family and get, not just push, you know, just their own art, their own music. They want to push everybody's music and stuff out, you know. All right. So if you work together as a family, excuse me, there's nothing you can't accomplish. So that's why I'm really excited to be a part Finally, of Finally, they have people from Indiana working together like this. <laughs> but it doesn't what's, happen. I appreciate it. it what's, your, what's your goal the next year? Uh, let's see. Well, the goal of next year. We want to. We want to. What are year two? So if, what are year two? if we're gonna get okay. that, what what needs to happen? Well, I'm moving to Texas in July, and so that's a big step for what I'm trying to do with my music. So, okay, we see a lot of artists leaving the city. Um, why are you moving to Texas? Like, what's your move there? Well, um, besides I do music full time, uh -huh. I also have a job. I just got uh, granted another job to okay. do as well. So it helps me do even more with my music. And it helps me live. It helps me do even more with my music. And it helps me live. It helps me do even more with my music. And it helps me live. You know, sometimes music isn't the easiest thing for people to do sometimes. Right, of course. But, um, you know, you live and you learn. So I'm excited to move out there. So within the well, next year around this time, um, you know, my goal is to keep on making great music pushing it out there, go higher than where I am right now and just inspire people, man. Perfect, man. Hey, thank you for stopping in. Interview will be up soon on NaptownConnection.com, so make sure you guys go check that out. We have more interviews coming up, but for now we have The weekend. I feel it coming. <laughs>